certified by WeatherAte for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Well, take a look at this. That is a beautiful summer night across the area. And our high V tower cam as we look off to the east and we see the rising full buck moon. Also along the horizon, you probably notice from time to time, there's a little burst right there of fireworks. Uh, this after a hot day, it was a dry heat, highs and low 90s. We're going to see that humidity uh, move back into the area on Tuesday. Right now, we're finding quiet weather in most of the area. I pointed out a few isolated showers though earlier in the show. We've got a little batch up near Windyville drifting off to the northeast. We've got a a couple of other isolated showers out there as well. A little bit in southern Phelps County, a little bit in northern Texas County, and a little bit in Shannon County and Dent County. That appears to be uh, on the northern edge of a little pocket of upper level energy that's trying to move across the area right now. I really don't expect uh, really too much overnight tonight with that. Uh, but again, wanted to point out where we are finding some isolated showers. Where it is not isolated, where the storms are rather widespread, is off to the south from the Red River area of Texas, east across Arkansas into Mississippi. That is south of a warm front, a warm front that is starting to march north, and it will bring not necessarily warmer air to the area. It was hot today. It will bring more humid air back into the area. And with that increase in humidity, we're going to see our rain chances going up a bit for primarily Tuesday afternoon. I think maybe as early as, say, 11 o'clock in the morning, but certainly through the afternoon time frame, that risk for spotty showers and thunderstorms is going to be there, primarily southern Missouri and northern Arkansas. I think the further north you get, the drier it's going to be, particularly, say, north of Highway 54 up toward I-70, where I expect just a hot and quiet 4th of July. Uh, temperatures tonight dropping off into the upper 60s. Highs tomorrow ranging from the mid-90s north. Looks like about 93 in Springfield, around 90 for a high near and south of the state line where clouds are going to bubble up pretty quickly during the morning hours and stay partly cloudy through the afternoon with those spotty showers and storms around. Uh, tomorrow evening, uh, again, that risk for a shower storm is going to be there at 5 o'clock, but I think by 7, 7 o'clock that activity is really fading away. Most areas dry. Still warm, 87, and then at 9 o'clock, it'll be warm and quiet. A little on the humid side, but I really don't expect there to be much in the way of rain around. Good news for, again, fireworks shows tomorrow night. Back to work weather on Wednesday. It looks hot and humid. The question is, how quick are we going to see showers and storms move into the area? Because I expect that to happen. But is it going to be in the morning, or is it going to hold off until the afternoon? Because that has bearing on the severe weather potential. If the activity holds off until the afternoon, there's a higher risk for a few strong to severe storms in our area with the possibility of hail and also locally strong wind gusts. Uh, looking at the pattern, the pattern is going to stay active the rest of the week through this upcoming weekend into early next week. Why? Well, that front that will be moving into the area on Wednesday, that frontal zone will stay in the region, and we're going to find pockets of upper-level energy or an active storm track right on top of the area, and that is going to generate waves of scattered showers and thunderstorms so that we have at least the risk of rain on a daily basis through the rest of the week and into this upcoming weekend. And I think with these successive waves of showers and storms, this may be a little optimistic, but I would guess that generally speaking, we're going to see one to two inches of rainfall over the next week and certainly local, locally higher amounts of rainfall in parts of the area. Also, with the more active pattern later this week, we should see more clouds and it'll be a little cooler. At least those afternoon highs will be cooler with highs dropping back into the low to mid 80s. I'll take that optimism. Sounds good. Get through the 4th of July, then bring on the rain. Bring on the rain. Perfect combination. All right. Thank you, Jamie.